We saw Ertlight win the morning. We were very impressed by him. He was a lovely physical and he had great motion to him. And we have Savannah and she's a big scopey mare and we just thought she'd suit him admirably. And we got this lovely cold foal and he's behaved perfectly here. He's taken his prep terribly well. He's got super motion. He's a, a total athlete, light on his feet with a great attitude because it is a lot of pressure on these young horses to come out and show consistently. But he took it really well and people were very smitten by him and they generally feel he's going to be a pretty early two-year-old. He should come to hand fairly quickly. We might even see him at Ascot. There was a lot of similarities. They're both relatively low to the ground with that big swing to them and seem to have a very genuine attitude, which is very similar to Arclight. He was an, uh, an absolute machine. I loved him from the minute I saw him. Physically, he was a hardy, strong, tough looking horse. Very mature, muscular physique, great jaw, fantastic head placement, really correct, great mover. I mean, he was an absolute belter. If I can judge them on Blue Point and Earthlight and the Sons of Shamadal, he looks exactly in the mould of what you'd be expecting to see. And I think on the basis that Blue Point's done so well this year and Earthlight seems to be producing fantastic looking stock that all have a very similar look about them, I have great faith that Earthlight can be a very good start. The plan would be try to get him to Royal Ascot. He looks like a real Royal Ascot two-year-old. So we'll find a trainer probably back in the UK and we'll point him at Ascot and hopefully we get there.